Hey guys, uh, so I decided to come out today. I was feeling a little bit bored at the house. Um, I took a holiday also. So I was just thinking too much fog since morning, if I get a chance to go out today or not. But I was lucky the sun is shining now and I'm here to make a small blog, uh, blog for you guys. So stay tuned with me. Some new stuffs. So today at this place, what I have, I have some field there. They are literally pounding the whole ground, the whole field here uh, because it was fog and then a uh, little bit sunny. So all the, all the worms, they try to come out and I think they are hitting. So guys, you can see all these field fair, they are just moving around on the ground. A lot of field fairs. But what is amazing about it is that this camera system you just have to click on again I for the video purpose sometimes I connect my my 1.4 X converter with it but today also I connect it because those are quite a bit far but I see it's really working good you see just have to you can oh <laughs> It's just gone anyway. How beautiful field it is. And these fairs are just moving around. Pop, 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 pop. Every hour oh, is gone. This one is nice. I think I will get a nice picture here. So, this is really amazing. I like it. I like it when birds are giving you the chance to capture them. Once it found the subject, I just try to track it all the way. Doesn't matter. By the way, what I did actually, I put, if you see my camera settings, I'll show you. And my autofocus. I'm running on the servo. And then I have the autofocus area, the spot AF. Okay, we'll try to discover them later. And um, okay, and subject tracking is on. I have eye detection to the animal. If you come to the case, I'm using case number two. What I did in the case number two, I put my tracking sensitivity is locked on. I want my subject to be locked on. Okay, not move. And then the acceleration, the acceleration. It is like when the subject is moving faster or slower it just do the same oh you know what happened just now they all are moving away because there is a hawk oh my god all of them are gone i can show you guys they are all gone the only reason behind it is there is a hawk in the tree somewhere i just need to find it out okay so yeah get back to the settings so I put it on plus one as much as accurate as possible that's it and then I put it on my custom function C1 but I'm right now in the manual mode but it's absolutely fine so let's move back to the main all is okay and I lost all the flares but let's try to find out where is the wizard so as this one was too far Mm, that what I was talking about the moment it landed on the tree and all the small birds on the ground the field flares they just move away from here and you know why <laughs> it's the lunch time yeah absolutely so okay guys since the since all the field flare just vanished from here I got a couple of starling just landed over that tree uh, on my left side uh, at the first I couldn't uh, see them but then yeah i got a couple of them uh, some nice pictures i will uh, try to put them in the video i just saw a group of eurasian j just landed over that tree you can still see one is flying by so i'm just trying to get one shot So guys, I got a couple of nice shots of the Eurasian J. They're pretty big bird, but the, the strange thing about these birds are they just keep moving everywhere. They just can't sit still. Every time 
I saw Irish and Jay, they're just moving. He, I mean, this is pretty much strange for our big birds, you know? Small birds are quite obvious, they just move here and there. So guys, uh, the struggle today, I'm consistently moving and uh, because of the light sometime and inside the forest somewhere, somewhere the sunlight is just coming directly and some places are really dark and the mist is everywhere. Um, I'm just keep toggling off my ISO. So <laughs> I, I still couldn't find a proper ISO which I can shoot all the way. But every time the shutter speed and ISO, I'm just keep toggling between them. It's too funny. But yeah, trying is the best hope. Let's keep trying. Now, the landscape of this place, I put my tripod here. What a beautiful landscape. So, my friends out there who are interested in the landscape kind of photography, this is the place. So guys, sometime in the winters, we got here a special bird called winter kunai. And uh, they normally comes only, only in the winters. And uh, I just spotted one. So I will try to try to wait here a little bit because they are very fast and fast moving. Mm, and I will wait in that bushes. Let me show you. Uh, yeah, I got a nice shot of that bird. This looks pretty amazing. Let me show you. Before that, I got a nice robin. Look, sitting nicely. And back to another part of the forest. This part is quite newly built up. The other part of the forest was old one, which is like there for a long, long time. And this part, uh, they cut down the road in between and they build its part uh, so i think i have seen a woodpecker there and i'm really interested to take a picture so guys i got a nice picture of that shirt i will look for the english name of it i think it's a it's a kind of hawk i just uh, try to google it it's a hawk type of bird uh, but it's a eurasian buzzard you know and uh, I try to get closer. You can see I run through this mud and uh, yeah, I try to get as much as closer as possible, but then it just uh, fly away. I think it saw me. They have very sharp eyes from the long distance. So guys, uh, I'm happy. That's a very nice end today. Mm, I'm head back to home now and uh, I will put all the pictures during this video. Please like, share, subscribe my channel and give me the support. Like.